Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is a rapture warning revelation from one of our dear sister. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. Hello, my name is Lizette Lawrence. I dreamt about the rapture, it was so real. I saw how people got lifted. I was with my dad, my mom, and my sister. I noticed my mom looked so much older, so I was assuming the dream happens or took place in a few years. The moment we left my mom, we started seeing the red cloud beam, people's souls going up. Each soul looked like a bright star. My dad was in denial, so I kept telling him it's the rapture, because I knew it in my gut. Then we were driving crazy fast cause the cloud was moving in a formation. My dad was scared out of his mind, he wanted to get us to safety, and I kept telling him that we cannot outrun it, we are gonna have to go whether we wanted to or not. The next moment the cloud was moving behind us. As my dad was driving us away from the cloud, I could see from the back window of the car how people's bodies were dropping as soon as their souls got lifted. People were driving so fast trying to escape it, but as soon as the cloud came over them, the cars even stopped driving. I could hear how quiet it was when everyone had gone, but even more so, I could hear those who were panicking, I saw people kneeling in the streets praying. Then eventually my dad stopped cause he realized we cannot outrun it. We stopped on the side of the road and my dad took my hand and my sister's hand in the car, he told us that everything will be fine. The next moment the red cloud came and I felt my soul leave my body, I felt how my soul traveled up, but subconsciously I could feel my body. I could feel how my body was laying on the back seat without being able to move it. I could feel how empty my body was, but then I opened my eyes while my soul was on its way up, and I fell back down into my body and it felt like my soul was traveling for years. I felt so much at peace. But the fact that I could feel my body even subconsciously bothered me. But when I landed on earth, it felt like I was gone for seconds. I got out of the car and saw a whole group of people around me, confused about why they were all back on earth. I was so weak in my legs and I couldn't walk properly. So that when I just fell down and I saw an aunt of mine's face, stroking my face, looking like she was sad. And that's when I woke up. This dream felt like a warning. But one thing I can tell you guys is that, most of the people who got lifted, most them weren't church folks, but judgment will be faced. If you have more fear than faith in your heart, if you carry unfinished business in your heart, if you have guilt, if your heart feels heavy, you will fall back down. Try and make peace with whatever is bothering your heart and mind while you're living, Shalom. So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away 
so that you can receive other videos on God's word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.